Hello friends, it is your friends, Rick the Melon and Scottlepot. Welcome to Indie Lunch, the quick stream that has a go of an offbeat game to see if it's any good. We'll play for a bit, discuss as we go, enjoy the experience together, then by the end, we'll ask you to decide whether we stick with the game tomorrow, or move on to a different game instead. Twist. You decide. <laughs> I missed that for now. <laughs> is that your voting already? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's not. It's not me voting. It's not trying to sway the votes already. Twist. Twist. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, just now it's still the books on Linux as well. God, flashbang. Okay. Mm, good music. If we do well enough here, we'll uh, be in next year's uh, Steam Game Awards. <laughs> that are on yeah. <laughs> uh, that's not working, so we're going to have to go on the screen again. Okay. Boop. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. Hoorah. <laughs> <laughs> in the next 35 years, you can build your own dream company. I did already. Oh, <laughs> Create the best-selling games, <laughs> gain fans, and become the leader of the market. There's a DeLorean. Cool. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give up, give your upcoming company a name. What? Be pretty easy to run. <laughs> Dream Games. I was wondering if you were going to do that. Yeah. Player one. What's your name? Great. <laughs> What's your name? you got to change your... what your character looks like. Yeah. Random chance. Actually, no, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> change your character mail. <laughs> We'll pretend to be this dude. What's a nice sweater? <laughs> yeah, it's a nice cardigan. Yeah. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. Blah. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Anne. Hi, Anne. Hello, hello. Congratulations! You've just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage, and you are the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message. Oh wow, okay, it tells you to close the message. Supporter. Support a young startup. Buy the game. Okay, so we've achieved <laughs> buying their game from them that made the game. The game about making the game. Well, steady on. We don't want to develop a new game just yet, do we? Okay, I think we do. <laughs> so, yeah, I think so. Can we uncover the DeLorean? No, okay. <clears throat> Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. Name the game. I feel you like can you also come up with what sort of style you would like to do and what it's about first before you come up with it. <laughs> yeah let's see what the options are your options are initially limited but once you have a bit of experience you'll be able to unlock new options okay fair enough pick oh, a topic pick a topic let's do this first that's locked on mm. not fashion i think dystopian what does that generally mean speaking it's like a you know like uh you're under the thumb. <laughs> yeah, like Blade Runner kind of style, or uh, uh, um, you're oppressed. You know, you've, you've been, yeah, oppressed. Yeah, you've been oppressed by a supposedly higher Ooh. power. Right, gotcha. And you're trying to break out of it, maybe. Or oh. it's got to be action for me. <clears throat> but a bit of adventure as well. Ooh, oh. <clears throat> game dev cost 20k on the G64. Market share is 56%. You don't game dev, it's got to be PC, yeah. yeah. It's the first game. <laughs> okay. And what we call it? 10 grand. 10 grand? Oh, we got 70 grand. Okay. What, what should we call our dystopian game? I feel like that's hard because you don't know what the story is, you don't know what the characters yeah. are. Like... <laughs> <laughs> think of something. Um, is 
just exit. He's trying to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> just don't exit. Just stop exit. Just don't. Just exit. Just exit. I don't think that works, yeah. Yeah. Dex based. Oh, it cost 10k. We've got to do graphics. Sorry, but... 2D? Where's the 3D? <laughs> oh, this is in the 80s. 2D, 3D wasn't around then. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> I remember in the in the 80s, well, yeah, more 80s, yeah, you get cassette tapes and you would be like looking through all these cassettes mm. and all these covers would have these amazing graphics on and things like that. And then you can play the game and it's just <laughs> super shit. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to imagine that's what it looked like. It's like text-based. Yeah. Like there. Yeah, that's how I was saying before, and we'll create the future game awards winner for next year. <laughs> yeah, this is the start of it. This is the, yeah, this is how, how it goes. So a game development runs in three stages. Uh, at the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Okay. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. Fair enough. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd say they're all pretty equal. To they're, they're pretty, yeah. Game plays up there, but if the engine's rubbish, then it's going to be rubbish, isn't it? It's going to be yeah. buggy. But if the stories aren't engaging enough, yeah, it's going to be boring. Well, yeah. Run around the great with no story. <clears throat> It's going to be meh all the way through. <laughs> we'll just do it maybe a little bit of a tweak, I think. Well, there we go. Oh, you can just, <laughs> can you just ramp all three all the way up? Uh, <laughs> How does that work? It's just sharing that bar, isn't it? Right, so yeah. it doesn't matter where it is, if they're all down there, then. Oh. Apparently, engine. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. So we. <laughs> So we'll say there, gameplay is most important. That's there. Okay, yeah. Maybe. Everyone's used to bugs these days. <laughs> no, you sound like every developer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have the bug fixes on the DLC. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> and that 80 gig download. Yeah. Make yeah. the gig download every week. <laughs> Game development has now started. Okay. Don't know what they're making, but yeah, sure. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. <clears throat> game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Okay. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> or any developer. Or any developer. Yeah. Them, yeah. Blizzard. EA, Ubisoft, <laughs> mm -hmm. Activision, yeah, everyone, everyone. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is going fast. Oh, okay. Dialogues, level design, AI. This is it. This is where that game yesterday was. Well, probably about here. Whereas it would have that initial <laughs> part, and then it rests text. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd I say AI yeah. not quite as high, or would you say the, lo the left two? Uh... If you're going up GTA, then pretty low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Level design is pretty important. Dialogues are pretty important. Ah, oh, I don't know. Mm. What would you do? What would you do? I'd probably do like that. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Pum pum. Bubbles. So what year is this? Oh, three bugs. Oh, we got three bugs. Yeah. We Select got additional features for your game. Right now you can only pick basic sounds. <laughs> but your options will increase quickly. <clears throat> Select yeah. additional features. It says, have you guys ever thought about being a game developer at IRL? <laughs> yes. I have. I did a game design degree. Uh, Did you? Yeah, but didn't, oh, finish, didn't finish it. Got to the got to the end and didn't do the exam. <laughs> Why? So I moved here. All <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. 
But so you'd say you sort of have some skill level to... Yeah, do. on a game design level. Um, I was a game... I was studying to be a game designer. But never finished it, unfortunately. So I didn't get qualified. But I, yeah. I learned it all. I just didn't qualify. Uh, you will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Tell that to Fortnite. <laughs> Epic games. Upgrading their engine. It did, yeah. So, well design, graphics and sound. Well, sound's got to be pretty low at this point. Graphic world design. Uh, I feel like graphics and world design have to be pretty similar. Yeah. We'll just maybe like go full whack and then just a little bit weighted that way. <laughs> Let's do that. <clears throat> you can just hear the IGN reviews now. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Just sounds like shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, on these type of old school. Yeah, you didn't sound well the before. The sound yeah. was rubbish anyway. So was like, burp, burp, burp. The most you can do is a bleep bleep. Yeah. The development on your first game is now complete. That was easy. It's not as easy as that in real life, I can assure you. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings. <laughs> <That's the problem. laughs> So you should only ever consider that if you need a cash and you can't afford to wait. Oh, oh okay. there goes the bugs. Finishing. So... 8k in monthly cost just came in. So do, do I just click on finish now? Or do, I, do I wait some more? Or? Yeah, I don't know what's happening. It says finishing. I'm going to finish it. 3, 2, 1... Go. Got no bugs. Zero bugs. Game development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is complete, it will be presented with a summary of experience gained. Ten orange bits and eight blue bits. Gameplay's up there, yeah. I like it. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, red one. I thought, yeah. no, no. Trash can. <laughs> <laughs> release. You're going to release it to the wild. Yeah, here it goes. Wish me luck. Feed it to the wolves. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. That was easy as well. You usually have to you know, like, try and find a publisher, but okay. <laughs> we should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Might, to, might be able to fix up the DeLorean. The first reviews for your newly released game. Just exit came in. Is this random? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One. Abysmal. <laughs> wow. Pretty bad. Oh, that's good. That's good. Number three. Not fun. All games. Okay. So we'll advertise this one. <laughs> yeah. just a pretty bad one <laughs> after publishing a game you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game to generate a game report close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu game report generate Units sold unknown. Costs 47k. Income unknown. I take it that's because we're still in progress so to sell it, are we? Did nobody buy it? Released year one, month five, week two. Average reviews 2.25. So, how is that helping? Dream Games, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game to exit. The game had a moderate response from your viewers. Ooh, that's optimistic. Yeah. I don't think it was moderate. <laughs> we are curious what Dream Games will deliver in the future. And says mostly negative ones, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
1, oh, 1,568 1, units in its first week on the market. There we go. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But how much are we selling it for? Yeah, exactly. Well, it's standard $100. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for next gen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. Okay. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph on the top right of the screen. Okay, over here. Uh, yeah, you can just about see that. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, you close this message. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. <clears throat> Real? <laughs> or maybe it's Frostbite. Remember that? Frostbite? That was cool. I do remember that. Yeah. Then it went bad. <laughs> <laughs> bad. Try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. It's only slight, then what's the point? <clears throat> Uh, have I got some RP? Where's my RP? Is that, that, is that me there? Yeah. Guess it's just this one then. Ooh. Hacking. Space. Space aliens, medieval hacking. Isn't that the same thing? Aliens in space? Could be. Well, we've gone from dystopian. Let's go space. Is there such a thing as dystopian medieval? That'd be an interesting genre, wouldn't it? Would that work? It would. It's technically there's a hierarchy. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll do space. Okay, go. It's researching. Our post release analysis of this exit is complete and we got the following results. Dystopian and action is an okay combination. Engine seems to be very important for this type of game. Fair. Oh, the sales are dropping. Quick, put some DLC out there. Boost the sales again. Successfully, <clears throat> boost it. Brand new topic, space. Develop new game. See, our cash is 28k now. <laughs> yeah, 70 to 28. That's not good. Uh, Enters, I guess... make a horror game. <laughs> you want a horror one? I don't know if that is a, an option, is it? Not yet. Pick a genre. Um, space adventure? Space sim simulation? Simulation or adventure? Ooh, no, let's do adventure in space. Everyone does sims. Right. Mm. I don't think you have the money for G64. Yeah, it's like 20k, but it uh, could blow the entire budget on that. It would, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're sticking to that. What should we call this one? <laughs> Kevin Spacey. The main character is Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Space and me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got to do the graphics. Surely you got to do the graphics. Oh, if it's an adventure game, though. Text based yeah. only, though. Boring. I know, right. This is, the, <laughs> this is the 80s. This is what it was all about in the 80s. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Just to try things up. I'd say this one's got to be more important now. Yeah. But did it say engine? Oh, this uh, is a time allocation. Is it time, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I guess the most time you spend on something, the better it is. Yeah. Engines don't have to be nothing, basically. Yeah, engine's pretty basic. Recent market studies suggest that the Com Govador G64 
So you think that's Commodore 64? No, I think so. It's steadily <laughs> outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over uh, the home computers. And actually said that the name Dream Space. Oh, no, yeah. Dream. That would have been good, actually. <laughs> Under... Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Oh, no! They're not wrong. Dialogues. On a text-based game? You want the dialogue, don't you? Level design, less. There's no AI. It's all scripted. Yeah. Oh, two bugs. Three bugs. Oh, this exit's now off the market. It is done. <clears throat> What the hell was it out for? How are we already off the market? Graphics and sounds. There isn't any. It's text. It's just text. There's no graphics. Get rid of it then. <laughs> yeah, do something like this. Just go ham at it. Will design. Go for it. Can't help feel that the game's going to punish me for that now. Yeah. Even though it's realistic. Oh, four bugs on this one. Five. Five books. Ah, oh, this is going to be bad. Three, two, one. According to rumors, the Japanese company Nintendo <laughs> <laughs> is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nintendo's no, Nintendo is known for the <laughs> widely so successful Binky King. King. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of dinkies. <laughs> Kneel before me. Isn't that where you like have someone on the back of your bike? <laughs> is it? Does it give us like a, a dinky? Give us a dinky. <laughs> <laughs> is that not a thing? I, don't I know. swear that was a thing. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'll look it up. Many industry experts doubt that the home game consoles will take off. <laughs> but we are eager to see what Nimbento will deliver. Oh, how wrong they were. <laughs> oh, apparently not. According to the dictionary, uh, dinky is attractively small and neat. A yeah. Dinky, a dinky little restaurant. Dinky, yeah. That makes sense. But maybe we should try and see if yours catches on. You've turned for giving someone a backy. Is that what they call it? Like in the UK? Yeah. Give us a backy. I think in like the pond space, they have a different meaning. Yeah, here you go. Australians use the word dinky as a slang meaning to give someone a ride on a bicycle. All right, okay, see so you. Okay. There we go, stand correct. First reviews for an early release game, Kevin Space Adventures came in. That's such a 80s text based game name, I, I've got to say. Thanks, Kevin Space. Oh, 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 big numbers. Big four! Oh. Uh, well, that's, that's better. Is that four out of five? Not bad, not good. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's, that's fair. Has its moments. Game hero of my heroes. Fun at stages. Yep. We'll just chop out that at it's, stages. It's five out of five, right? fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five out of five. Yeah, how's that work? <laughs> In that two and a half, really? I think it's five out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Your bank is in the red. red. Uh oh. Ooh, minus 7k. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to with overdraw mm -hmm. your account to 50k, but be careful. If your account balance is below 50k, you'll, you'll go, go bankrupt. bankrupt. You gotta yeah. wait for your sales to come in yet, or? Yeah. Week one. Oh, that did okay. 15k. Woo! No, it's dropped a lot in the second. Dang. I think we're gonna have to bite the bullet, guys, and go for the. the, the how did you... Oh, 8k before. monthly cost just came out. Oh, shit. You're only at 21k. We best get doing a report. 5,500... Wait, did that... No, it was off the marker, I remember. Uh, yeah, okay. Your first one. Wasn't it 1,000 something? This is 5,000 something? <clears throat> yeah. Income 38. Oh, cost 26. Income 38, profit 12.8. Oh, we're making profit. 
4.5. <laughs> Zero fans. Oh, okay. Top sales rank 100 plus. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That was a success. I'm, I'm touting that as a success. Oh. Nimbento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans for the home. Yes. Console features cartridge based games and uniquely designed controller. Oh, so you can make a new game now. Ooh. You should probably be able to select that as an option. Mm. Post release analysis of Kevin Spacey Adventures. Space and Adventures is an okay combination. Dialogue seems to be very important, which is what we nailed. Platform genre match, PC Adventure is great. There we go. Should have done that from the start, shouldn't we? Okay, we're bleeding money here already, so uh, let's research. New topic. Prison. Prison. <laughs> Hacking medieval. That's, uh, I'm, I'm tying between these two. Medieval and hacking. Mm. Let's go medieval. Yeah. Fancy a bit medieval. Yeah. <clears throat> you can't deliver it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make it now. <laughs> Kevin Spacey Patrick Adventure and Daniel Club. On Steam. <laughs> Greenheart Games. Hi Rick, we are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. No, it's okay. <laughs> Eventually we did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bought it ages ago, only just playing it today. Better late than never. Definitely. Game Dev Taika is our first game, and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. Who says we're enjoying it? <laughs> yeah. Why are you assuming? <laughs> With your purchase, you support our little startup, and this will hopefully make sure we can bring you more games in the future. Was Seriously, this actually you... the first Tycoon game? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Uh, for them. I don't know if about anybody else. Thank you very much, and have fun with Game Dev Taika. Green Heart Games. It is green, and it's a heart. Given that. Makes sense. <laughs> Games off the market already. That went quick. Oh my god! You've only got I've eleven. Searched. You've got eleven k. Wow. Uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna go all in, right? Yeah. Topic: medieval. Yeah. Later, Sean. Pick genre: what style adventure RPG? Uh, I think RPG. You have to go RPG, surely. And the where's top the, platform. Where's the where's bloody... Nintendo? Yeah. Yeah. Where's Nintendo? <laughs> they didn't want it. <laughs> Rejected us. Ringdom comes. Okay. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> uh, medieval. <laughs> Medium evil. See what I did there? The other one was bad. <laughs> Categorical. Going all in. 30k. Going minus numbers. Oh, funny. <laughs> uh, everything. Everything's maximum. Max power. <laughs> gonna have so many bugs. This is ambition right now. I've got uh, bugs one, already. <laughs> yeah, one orange to two. <coughs> All maxed out. <clears throat> wow. Graphics. Still can't bring myself to do sound, but we're gonna do sound as well. Gonna be an all-in kind of situation. This well, don't even care about so bugs. Mine's still going. The bugs to go away. Oh, designs. Oh, oh another bug. Oh, now it's being released. Oh, of Damn course it. it is. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh. so they, they just keeps going up, which is a good Does thing. It? Just wait. But yeah, gotta make some profit here. <clears throat> Imagine if we're not successful with this. 
monthly cost minus 8k. We've got to finish it now because we're nearly 50k behind, so. My man dog said, what did I walk in on? <laughs> <laughs> Ringed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're nearly at level two. Ah, oh, I just missed out. Hey, we'll design level two. Oh, I nearly level, leveled up too. Release game. Let's see what happens. The final game. Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic genre combination. Yes! It's gotta be done, haven't it? Medium Evil came in. Okay. Reviews. Five. Falls a bit short. Yeah. Falls a bit short. Oh, come on. on. Has its moments. Come on. Six. These are guys love us. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> I feel like it's one of those ones that just slowly, it's, it's slowly goes It's up. just going to naturally, <laughs> no matter what we pick, it's just going to yeah. slowly increase, isn't it? That's the feeling I get too. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Crunch time. 22k. Uh, contracts contracts being on. Never left. Wow, you can get like movie franchise contracts and stuff. Yeah. The see available contracts, close this message. In the action menu. <clears throat> Please give us a project. And I've just finished Medium Evil and I'm impressed with all your talent. <laughs> I'm in the contract contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, oh, we're getting there. Uh, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you. Jason. Thanks, Jason. Yes, we're in profit again. Well, we're in the green at least. Oh. Costs. Costs come back down <laughs> again. Monthly costs came in. Sales record. 10k units 10K. sold. An important milestone in the history of dream games. Nice. Just kind of feel good, actually. <laughs> oh, we got a little spike up. 17k. 17k. Oh, this is easy. It's alright, from minus 30. So we just went to 11. Yeah. It's actually uh, not another month, it just went past. 12. Okay, we need to get. Generate game report. Yeah, 12k sold. Income 83k we got. Oh, top sales rank 56 now. We're on the map. <clears throat> so that new platform did us pretty well. I'm slowing before. <laughs> 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 it's thinking about it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's gone off the market already. Wow. Don't last long, did it? Might as well give it away on, on Steam for yeah. <laughs> 2 .99. Our post-release analysis of Medium Evil is complete, and we got the following results. Medieval and RPG is a great combination. Graphics seem to be quite important for this type of game. Yep, fair enough. So we've only got 5k now. Uh, we need to do some research. New topic. Hunting. Amanda, I've got a question. Question? Is that customized Apple 2E? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Uh, with my exp oh, I've already got those. Prison. Go prison. Because that's probably where we're going to end up at on this next game. <clears throat> nice. I feel like the, the rest of this scene is a bit sort of uh, irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. You successfully researched a prison topic. All right. Let's go and we'll find contract work. Let's see. Let's have a look at that one. Contracts are a useful tool to earn some cash when your balance is low and can be useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Or decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you'll have to pay a penalty, pay so it's better penalty. to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Top tip. Penalty is 5 game. Hmm, pay 19. Game backdrops. Let's have a look at the least penalty. Oh, that's it. That was the one. That's the one. Time left. Oh my god! Do I, do I have to do anything here? I don't think so. The recently released Tez Home console by Ninvento 
has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. He says, once you have successfully released a few games, you can move into your own office and forge world-class development team, hire staff, train them, and unlock new options. Nice. So it really does open up. Yeah. Game. Okay. Awesome. As one customer says, I love games that come with the Tez, and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> In 2022, nearly 2023, I disagree. <laughs> Some games are okay with control. I'll give it that. Oh. Oh no. How do you know? We failed at the basic contract. I couldn't get it any more basic. Oh, minus 16k now. And we're bleeding money. How did he fail it? On that bombshell? That is the weeks. end of the stream for today. He had three weeks. <laughs> three weeks to deliver and we didn't do it. Okay, I'm going to exit there because if I leave off, we'd be continuing. He's going to cost me money. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now is the time to vote, folks. Would you like to see more of this game? Or would you like to just move on to a different one? Time to decide, stick or twist. I can't do anything on the screen. My mobile is not working again. Where the... the mobile app is pretty trash, isn't it? It is a bit, yeah. Okay. Ooh, a little bit split here. Two, two. Ooh, I, I, I enjoyed this game actually. I'm not gonna lie. I'm doing a stick on this one. Who gets the deciding vote? Well, there you go, Mad Dog. Who does indeed get the deciding vote? <laughs> we have a special way of determining this. There's six people watching, so. <clears throat> yeah. Someone else wants to vote. They can have <clears> the, the, literally the choice. <laughs> I think maybe for me, it might be a little bit of a special place in my heart from being in that era and yeah. living through it and sort of looking back on it uh, and being able to be sort of reliving it a little bit in the form of making a fake company. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool. I like it. So the way we're going to de decide this is... If we were to do it random. Yeah. <laughs> but there's time yet. Still time. There is time left. If someone wants to sway the vote one get, way or the get other. Get your votes in. Now's the time. No double accounts, though. <laughs> no cheating. That would be too... We've got to be different people. Ooh, we got another stick in there. Who did that? Well, there you go. There you go. Late surge. 60 40 split at the moment. Maybe we don't need this. There we go. Don't need that. It is stick. We are sticking. We, stick. we don't need the generator, the random number generator. We're sticking with this on Monday. Democrats fake election. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Wasn't me. You saw my hands here the whole time. I didn't do it. I'd already voted as well. Both so the <laughs> It's a real, actual way of being able to tell who voted for what. I, think I don't know. I think it's anonymous. Is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Could well be voter fraud then. Maybe I've got a little clicky button under here <laughs> that you can't see. I'll just <laughs> click that button there. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're playing this again on... Found a suitcase of vote under the table. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be playing more of Game Dev Tycoon on Monday. On uh, Monday. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great weekend and Merry Christmas to everyone. It's uh, looming. Yes, <laughs> looming. Not quite there. Yeah. Not quite there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say it anyway. We'll probably say it every day now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one and see you next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, he's dreaming of PCs again. Is he using an online configuration tool? No, he's checking a build tracker to see how his new rig is coming along. Mm. Another satisfied customer. Oh, what's he, what's he doing now? I think he's hugging us. Oh, that's sweet. Make your dream PC come true. Head to dreampc.com.au.